This is what Chad's government says is the aftermath of fighting between its forces and the armed group known as the Front for Change and Concord. More than 300 of its fighters were killed, and at least 100 captured in the northern province of Kanem, about 300 kilometers from the capital in Jamena. As you can see, we've stopped the rebels and we've captured some of them. Others have fled, but we're now combing the region to get them. The government says five of its soldiers were killed and dozens more injured. The latest fighting between the two sides comes just a week after the group attacked a government position at the border on election day. It was formed in 2016 and says it aims to remove longtime President Idris Deby, who is leading in early election results. Deby has been in power since 1990. He's faced numerous coup attempts and rebellions, mostly in the east. The capital in Jamena was overrun twice by different rebel groups in 2006 and 2008. Chad's closest ally, France, provided its military with logistical support and intelligence, while the US, UK and Germany called on their nationals and non-essential staff to leave the country. Chad's government says that decision was premature, and the armed group itself insists it was not necessary. We assure all residents of the city of N'Djamena and around, including diplomatic staff, United Nations agents, partners and expats working in Chad to stay calm and avoid unnecessary travel outside the city. We call on all essential state workers on duty in the Kenem region, in particular in the medical service, not to desert their positions and to continue normally with their public service for the population. In the capital, while people panicked, opposition leaders who boycotted the April 11th elections condemned the move by the rebels. At least 15 groups have called for a ceasefire and a national dialogue. Part of the country's opposition, they've opted for talks away from violence. But the Front for Change and Concord, which has chosen military action, says it will continue to pursue its aim of toppling Debbie's government despite its recent losses. Hibo Morgan Al Jazeera, N'Djamena.